Hello my artsy friend and welcome to today's video where for the first time I'm going to try this handmade soft pastel. They are by Jackson own brand. I don't have a lot of color available because you can buy these open stock and I thought it would be good to try them out before to commit to a big range. So the color I have here is a deep yellow ochre 145, a cyan 466, a rose violet 444 and then I also have a vivid orange 133 a deep green which is gorgeous in my opinion in number 546 and a dark red brown 325 this is the image that I decided to be inspired by now I don't really like to replicate image I just like to be inspired by them in fact very soon I'll completely forget that the page is there and is open but if you guys want to be inspired as well this is a book that I find in a charity shop about um, flower composition and and I like to grab some element here and there just to create my own design. Funny enough, what I have to paint on is a Jackson pastel paper. That's the only pastel paper I own at the moment, but I may rectify this very soon because this is an assorted paper. Gladly, I have this light orange background that I enjoy a lot. But I also have a black and a dark blue and I realize I don't really enjoy too much to paint on a dark background. I like either white or a tone background but not too dark. So that's why I decided to skip ahead and use uh, these pages right here. Now true to be said, I bought this soft pastel probably eight months ago and I never used them because I was afraid of using fixative because I just got pregnant uh, eight nine months ago and now baby's out and I still don't want to use fixative but I said I want to use this pastel and uh, I will just cover them with the paper and I'm okay if things get smudgy because smudginess represent my style right now so I'm okay with it. As you can see very quickly I step away from my design and I just create some central wavy element that uh, inspire me. Also I'm trying to blend things on and I add this um, purple to my blue background and I see how things they blend together. Um, because it's been so long that I've used soft pasta last my technique is, uh, yeah, it's not the best at the moment. Uh, so forgive if the design is not too intricate, it's not too detailed. I just wanted to play with this uh, relatively new supply, um, but I, I knew my... Uh, technique uh, it's not perfect at the moment I need to practice again with soft pastel and I'm okay with it it's a loose design that represents my style right now so it's perfect for my technique at the moment uh, but I will practice more uh, and hopefully we get to do some more uh, intricate design as well in the future Talking about this handmade soft pastel, finally, I'm so happy I got around to use them and the consistency is beautiful in my opinion. They feel quite soft, they're not super buttery creamy soft but they feel quite soft while using them and as you can see you can spread them around very very easily 
I am in the process of buying a specific blending tool for pastel, uh, so please don't judge me that I'm using my fingers all the time. I do enjoy doing that, but I know I need to rely on some external blending tool. I will be fixing this in a soon, <laughs> very soon. Uh, but anyway, um, the consistency is beautiful. They are no hard. They are like a medium softness, but because they are handmade, it's not perfect. So it depends of the um, tip where you go that you're going to use. It may feel slightly scratchier or more buttery. Uh, but I do love the idea that they are handmade. For some reason, it just add the personal touch, the human touch that sometimes is missing. I like to think there was a person uh, behind this uh, soft pastel that just create them and give their time and their passion to mold them. So very happy about that. The, their shape is not perfect but at the same time I like how uh, fatty and chunky they are they are not slim and square they, as you can see in my hands they're quite chunky so you get a really good size for your box uh, and because I had a limited color palette I think I chose the perfect design for it because it pushed me to use all of them. I use all of the color and I call fill all of the colors and they do feel the same. Uh, so despite being very uh, personal and handmade, still it feels uh, there is a consistency in the process. Uh, which means that they all look quite um, smooth and soft and uh, yeah, not too creamy, but definitely not hard. So if you do this kind of texture, I think I may go ahead and buy a few more, maybe not right away because I still have quite a different brand on soft pastel that I have to get through before to commit on buying more. Uh, so they are perfect if you want to smudge color around. If you do mixed media, they are perfect to create a big ground. And you can layer with them and it fits quite well in the tooth of the paper. Of course, it depends how much um, powdery product you put down there and also the tools you use in to smudge them around uh, using mainly my fingers I can say uh, it all depends on how much powder I, kill I was going to add on top the more powder I had the more was easier to fit it inside uh, the tooth of the paper uh, but also slight layer will work just fine and uh, in this case I also didn't bother to uh, clean my fingers in between and I use what I had in my finger to just create a light background color with a mix of all the colors that was uh, super fun to do and then I try to just add a little bit extra but that will leave a mark so then I will create a, a, another leaf on top so super loose design it took me about 20 minutes slightly over 20 minutes to get this done and it was a nice practice design a practice artwork to get back into soft pastel let me know in the comment if you like me to create some more soft pastel design and it, I'm always open to suggestion. If you have any idea what I should create, please feel free to add it in the comment section as well. As you see, it's very different than the original design. I decided to create some wavy uh, branches 
of all the color coming out from the vase because I didn't want it to give just so bare and minimum and I love always some good movement in my design so enjoy the rest of the video and I'll see you next time don't forget to like comment subscribe bye